Oh, good idea, those are my um, VHS cleaning cassettes in storage. I can't really get to it now. Pull this front off, and I can get in there and clip that drum assembly. I can't play a tape that's that dirty, I'll damage the heads and the tape. That's too dirty, I can't use that. And it's a really good clean before I can start using this. It's a shame I didn't come with the original remote and carry shop these things came with it in the day in 1983. Anyway, let's uh, take this door off. I can see if I can get to the head and clean it. I've got to clean all the tape contact surfaces as best as I can. Best thing uses some paper and you spin the drum by hand and this has to be dipped in also propyl alcohol and just wipe it against the head and then we'll clean it, the drum and everything. But I don't have also propyl alcohol. Methylated spirits can work just as good as well. Yeah, I'll pull this off and give it a good clean while I'm at it. I got one of those cleaning cloths from one of those um, smartphone screen protectors. It comes with this cleaning cloth and cleaning solution. I'm just using this cleaning cloth to clean all the um, surfaces that the tape runs on. Everything the tape touches has to be cleaned because if you get dust on the tape, it will just damage the tape and all the, um, the heads and the, the erasing head as well it will be damaged by abrasions. You don't want that. Because I've got to get this thing as clean as possible. If it works really good, I can play good tapes in it. The world's a bit stiff. Yikes. Oh, I was spinning it the wrong way. Ah, there we go. It's freed up. Bearing's a bit noisy. Alright, um, so dig out my cleaning tape from somewhere now. I can't have a water because of the sensors there to block the light. So everything turns. That's all free. I'm going to see if I can dig out a cleaning cassette and a test tape in storage, see if it works. Um, Alright. I can't get this dust off here though. I don't want to damage it. It's kind of hard to get that off. Hmm. I get it. See if I can dig in a cleaning cassette and just use that and just run that through it a couple of times. Clean it. That all works. Seems to work a lot with the eject function. Anyway, I'll see if I can dig out a um, cleaning cassette in storage. Could again dig it out, hopefully I'll find it. It'd be handy, because I need it. <laughs> Alright, let's clean it. Let's see if I can get it to play. Let's play. It should start to clean. Ah, hang on. Take up's not working. It's not taking it up. That could be a problem. The take up's not working. Ah. Need a rewind slips. Aha! Uh -huh. We've got a problem there. The take up's not working. And that could eat tape still on that. Let's have a look here. I might have to pull this thing apart and clean it. There's no there's slipping here. Might need a belt or two. Yeah, it's still got messes on there. Yeah, a bit messy on the bloody um, sponge, see? You don't want too much methylated spirits. I didn't get in the um, actual head, though. I went on the edge toward the sedge and just very carefully to clean it. Don't make too much of a mess with the alcohol either, because that will also take the, uh, pin the stuff off, the markings. Um, I want that take up. Pinch rod was working here. Look at that. We're going to play again. Oh, uh, is it play here? The take up, did the pinch roll everything work? The pinch roll is working. This isn't getting uh, any torque on it. Alright. 
That works. So this works. This doesn't get any take up on it, so there's something wrong with this uh, spool. Okay. There's no torque on that. Probably a belt, because this all works. Gotta take it apart and check the uh, torque on here. Say the belt has gone bad. And everything else works. Just this one needs to take the tape up. Alright. Hmm, the tape counter works. <laughs> June. 30th of June, 1983. It's a Matsushita motor. 1983 this machine was made, by the way. Mitsumi, Japan. Good old delay line, you don't see that anymore. Alps tuner. Okay, it's pretty well designed and squashed together. Now I've got to get this mechanism, transport mechanism out to fix up this take-up problem, which is, gee, there's a little counter there. Pretty cool. 0.047 farad capacitor that is there for the backup for the clock. NEC capacitor, the same um, capacitor using the time switches too, the Warburton factory time switches. Sharp motor, dated 1983 as well. There's another head down there needs cleaning. Get to this wheel behind here. This little tie behind here, it's going to be a nightmare to get to. It's one thing I hate about these um, compact machines like this, you just cannot service them easy without completely tearing on the bits. Wow, what a nightmare. Right, what a nightmare to pull this thing apart. To pull this thing apart, you got to undo four big screws in here. Two and there and two and there, and this thing all just lifts out. So there's all these cables you get to undo behind here. It's a nightmare. The main drive that turns these doesn't work. The belt on this thing seems a bit loose on the capstan drive there. Big flyable capstan. The belt seems a bit loose on that. And they change that. The only belt that I can't get to. The rest for this one. And the tyre is easy to get to behind here. And the belt behind here is behind here. Very easy. But this belt on here has a main belt. That's an absolute nightmare to get to. Ah, oh, the fun of vintage VCRs. The people on the video collecting forum on Facebook also have the same troubles with their VCRs. Get into that bloody belt. The ported carriage, it's actually quite a lot of work. It's a big puzzle getting it all apart. But everything else works. Got the B and C adapter so I can test it. Um, so these both don't turn, so the main driver for the uh, tyre there's alright. That tyre works. I can turn that alright. It's the main block behind here, it's a problem. It's gone a bugger, he's doing what my um, NEC's doing. It takes the tape up, but I won't play it. Yeah, the belt's gone. Still what my NEC VCR's doing. Hmm. Go to fast forward. It detects it for a bit. It slips. She just can't do it. Rewind. Yep, just slips there, slipping like a bitch. The motors are fine, just the belts are slipping. Heads came up all right. I said a head came up. The heads are pretty smooth now. That's good. I won't damage tapes. Got to find a uh, yeah. need a new belt to get behind this one. This is going to be a challenge. Other than that, it works quite well. Got to get a TV yet so I can uh, hook it up to a TV and test it. It actually reads a frame doing that. This back on. And I put a tape and plug it into a TV. See if I can get it to read a video frame. If it does, it means a head. That means the heads are alright. Let's give that. See if that works. 
Okay, video one. The problem with these bloody mod TVs, this says no signal. No one, an actual proper video signal from the start to actually turn themselves to the video signal. Video's on. So, definitely on. Put a try the RF next. But this is where an older TV is definitely the best handy because an older TV will pick up something no matter what as a form of static. And you'll actually see if this actually does work. So we're going to play the Jetsons. Yeah, nothing. That sounds pretty smooth too. Not that much in the tape. Ah, uh, damn it. Nah, I might pick up the signal with this TV. It's got to be an older TV. Let's see if I want to rewind it. Oh, it's working. Hey, hey, it works. That never did it before. All right. Will that play? All oh, right. It's never done that before. No signal still. Hmm. Well, it fast forwards, that's alright. Fast forward works, it's not enough torque to get everything to work. Can I rewind it again? Oh, come on, you can do it. I need some belt grip in there. Oh, no. Nah. Let's fast forward the tape to it again, then we get everything moving. Unless that works. Something's freeing up, the belt might be starting to grip. But yeah, it's got to work reliably. If that belt slips in any way, and this still takes up, but that doesn't take up the slack, it's going to chew the tape up and make it all go in. You don't want that. See, if the torque gets more and more. Yeah, it's got to get everything loosened up. It's been sitting on each side not so long. Yeah, the tape counter working. Turn a line on here so you can see it. Now it calls that. You don't have it on there, you have it in here. Nice. 30 minutes. Oh, here we go. She's starting to run out of torque. Yeah, she's getting slippery now, see? What up, hey? Still no picture. Yeah. Come on. Nah. It takes up the tape, but it feeds it back in. So you're going to rewind it now. Yeah, come on. Uh, come on, you can do it. Slippery bloody belts. Ah, bugger, the belt's slippery in the buggery. Uh, Well, if I can't, if I can't move on, I tap it as fast water to the end. Ah, oh, bugger. Gotta be very round now. I gotta fast forward it since that goes fastest. Leave it at the end of the tape. That way I don't leave it halfway through. Here we go. It's always over the belt that's the hardest to get to, there's the one that's I gotta change. Yeah, well, the joy of old VCRs. I put the um, cleaning cassette in and give it a couple of cycles of fast soaring and rewinding and see if that frees and gets the belt to grip, grip up better. <coughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh dear. Gave it a good compressed air dust and everything a good clean again. Put the cleaning cassette back in it after I did the cleaning with the compressed air so I won't get dust and a good tape. Oh, it's taking a while. So let this get to the end and put the um the uh, cleaning cassette in. Give it a couple of taps and she's working. If I get to the wand again. Come on. There we go. It kind of works when I tap the tape, so it's giving a bit of a you can do it. Ah. Damn slippery fan belts, don't you hate them? I haven't got any CRC breaded dot grip you can use, but that makes a mess that stuff. I don't want to damage this tape either, these are hard to find, there's cleaning cassettes. 
I've got one for a Super 8 camera too, a video camera which I should do a video on. Dad's old uh, Super 8 VHS camcorder. They're collectible now, that's got a clinic cassette for that, unopened too. There we go, come on. Giddy up, giddy up, come on, you can do it. <laughs> Bloody slippery fan belts. I think I've freed everything else up, it's just that belt letting it down. As you can see, the belt drives in these aren't reliable though, for a long term, especially in storage, a rubber just um, perishes. That works a bit quicker. I'll take up my tape. Come on. Yeah, there's not enough torque to pull it through all this. It's got enough torque, just enough to rewind it faster, but there's not enough torque to pull the tape through all that um, mechanism. That's the only bit that's gear driven is the eject. Bugger. I do a check of this tape. Yeah, it's pretty clean. But that head came up quite well. It actually sounds smooth running past that tape. It's like a hard drive. The head floats in the platter. This is the same principle. It's got those grooves where the air goes in and those heads float past the tape like the heads of a hard drive on a disc float up on a cushion of air on top of the platter. That's the same principle there. There's no torque on this mechanism here. The belt on here, if I can get a light and show. Uh, this device here, the Tomcat with a 10 watt Cree T6 LED, nice and bright. Takes two 18650 batteries, this thing. A bulk behind there on that cap stand flywheel. Now I will turn it, there's a point in it where it's been sitting in the motor. It's got like a um, flat spot, which I'll show. Uh, uh. Alright, the belt has actually come off now. Yeah, the fan belt's come off that pretty flywheel. The fan belt on here I've got to get the change. Turns good. Okay, that belt's going to have to be changed. That's going to be a big task, getting this all apart to change that belt. So the only thing I slipped up then is that belt. Hmm. Anyway. To the final um, the belt from somewhere, which I think I've got somewhere buried in storage. If not, I'll forget off of somewhere else. Uh, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.